Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. The reason why I'm making this video today, this audio today, is to encourage people about the friends you call friends. Yes, the friends you call friends, because the Bible say, trust not in a friend. There's a friend that stick closer than a brother, and his name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ say, you are my friends. So the reason why I'm making the video again is to tell you that Job had three friends, Bildad, Zophar, and Eliphaz. Hey, glory to God. And the Bible say, and glory to God, in Job, the 16th chapter, verse number two, I have heard many such things. Miserable comforters are ye all. What? Miserable comforter are ye all. So 10 reasons why Job's three friends are not his real friends, but miserable comforters. What miserable comforter? Do you have a miserable comforter in your life? They're always criticizing you. They're always being critic. They're never a comforter, but they are critic. They criticize you, and they don't, they don't show compassion. So these are 10 reasons why Job's three friends were not real friends, but miserable comforters. 10 C's. When I say 10 C's, why Job's friends was miserable comforters. My friend, 10 reasons why Job's three friends were not real friends, but miserable comforters. Number one, they were not comforter at all to Job. Yes, they were. If you read the the book of Job, you will see that I'm saying that they were not comforter at all. Because when they come to Job, they sit quietly. That's number one. They sit quietly. And when Job got balls on his body, when Job lost his family, when Job lost his things and the material things, glory to God, they were not comforter at all. Number two, they were not connected to his pain of losing his family and financial obligations. Yes, they say, Job, you have done something wrong. Number three, they called Job a sinner for getting sick of losing everything. Look at, see Job, the fourth chapter, verse number seven. Number four, they did not collect the right information while Job was going through. I'm so glad, my friend. We don't quick to judge people when they are when they are sick. We don't quick to judge people when they lose their job. Number fifth reason, they are they say, Job, you are crazy. Hey, glory to God. If, if anybody call you crazy because you lose you lost your job, if anybody crazy because you get sick. Number six reason, they have no compassion on Job's situation. The Bible says, my friend, love did all things, believe all things, hope all things. Love will never fail. Hey, hallelujah, they had no compassion on Job's situation. Number seven thing, they did not consult. Hallelujah, counsel or to comfort on his suffering and pain and loss. My friend, Job three friends was miserable comforters. Do you know anybody like that? Yes, I do. Number eight, but they criticized Job on why he's sitting good to God against God. Yes, they criticized Job of why he's sitting or, or, or cussing or, or cursing God. My friend, glory to God. Remember, my friend, only you know and God know that if a person was close to God, God would tell them why this person is going through what they're going through. Ah, my friend, number nine reason. Hallelujah. They were the one that was wrong and they had to correct their statement of criticism or critical judgment. That tell you that, that tell you that there's ten C's. And then my tenth reason, they were condemning Job rather than caring for Job pain. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to help somebody out there that you have miserable comforter. And the best thing to do is go as fast as you can and stop calling them. Start letting them become, become a miserable comfort to you. And my friend, if you do these things, God going to bless you because God bless Job double for his trouble. And they got to come back and bring offerings to Job. My friend, if you are a person and you got a friend that's going through the storm, what your best thing to do is be a comforter. If you can't say nothing at all, 
Don't say nothing. Don't criticize him. Don't complain about him. And don't be a critic. But my friend, you should not be a critic. You should be, you should be a comforter. Because the Holy Ghost comes to comfort us. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel like helping somebody out there. If you are going through the storm of life, remember there's a Savior. If you are going through the storm of life, remember God is sovereign. If you are going through the storm of life, my friend, my friend, suffering don't last long. Glory to God. Ah, hallelujah. Ten seas, my friend. What will the sea again before I leave? There was a comforter. No comforter, not connected. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there was, glory to God, they call Job a sinner. Number four, they, they wasn't collecting the right information about Job. And number, number five reason, they called Job crazy. Number six, they had no compassion. Number seven, there was not, there was not counseling Job or comforting Job's situation and pain. Number eight, my friend, they criticized Job. Number nine, Hey, glory to God. There was, they, they had to come back and, and correct their statement of critical judgment. And number 10, they were condemning Job rather than caring for Job pain. My friend, Job's three friends were not friends. They was criticals. And they were critics. There are a lot of critics in the house of God. My friend, there are a lot of critics in the house of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My friend, we just got to be careful who we got in our corner saying they are, are our friends. Father, God bless this person right now. Oh, God, let them know that God is on their side. Let them call on the God of their soul salvation. Oh, God, bless this person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, God, bless right now. Tuesday, amen.